A mall reduced to rubble as Russia steps up its attacks on Ukraine. The fiery blast in the country's capital all caught on camera. Look at that. Uh, the mayor of Kyiv says at least eight people were killed. Homes nearby also destroyed this as we have learned that Ukraine rejected Russia's ultimatum to surrender the port city of Mariupol, an area that has been besieged by bombing. Now, elsewhere in the nation, demonstrators are confronting military vehicles, chanting the words, go home. Now, the United Nations says 10 million Ukrainians have fled their homes, seeking refuge in Romania, Hungary and Poland. President Biden will travel to the country on Friday following a summit with NATO. Allison Harris will have more on that in just a moment, but we start with Robert Sherman. He's live for us in Poland. Good morning. Good morning to you, Adrian. And what you see behind us puts into perspective the toll that war takes on a whole populace of people. Inside this one refugee center just outside of Warsaw, over 6,000 displaced refugees are here waiting to find transit, desperately trying to get food, shelter, any other items that they may need. The places that they're coming from, some of the most war-torn regions of Ukraine, Mariupol, Kharkiv, and Kyiv, which we saw suffer multiple attacks this weekend. Overnight, a mall in Kyiv turns into a massive fireball. An explosion reduces most of the building to rubble, the structure blown apart and down to its steel skeleton. In front of it, another building leveled. A high-rise tower nearby had every window blown out. Ukraine's prosecutor general says the attack killed at least eight people, and several other nearby homes and buildings were damaged. Firefighters worked through the night to put out the flames and to search the rubble for any survivors. One man was found alive and pulled to safety. More than 400 miles to the southeast in Mariupol, Ukrainian officials rejected a chance to surrender the city to Russia and allow Ukrainians to escape through two corridors out of the city. Mariupol has been surrounded for weeks now and has seen some of the worst of the war. Hours before those two corridors were supposed to open, Ukraine says Russia bombed an art school sheltering 400 people. Russian forces have been making some headway into Mariupol, but like much of the Russian offensive, it's been bogged down by heavy resistance and fighting in the urban areas. Military officials say the war is heading into a stalemate. The heavy losses of Russian troops and equipment, on top of logistical issues, have many believing that Russia's war could become unsustainable. On the other hand, Russia continues to ramp up its bombings and strikes as its ground campaign struggles to move. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin says that's the reason so many civilian areas have been targeted, calling the attacks disgusting. Ukrainians have not stopped moving to other parts of their country and across Europe. Millions have left their homes. They are shooting with everything they can, so we just took children and drove away. Where do we go? We don't know. Just away from that hell. Poland has taken in more than two million people in almost four weeks. Romania, more than half a million. Moldova and Hungary, more than 300,000 each. Slovakia has taken in 245,000. And around 185,000 are in Russia. However, Ukrainian officials have claimed some people are being taken to Russia against their will, prompting comparisons to the Holocaust. Those people have allegedly been moved to remote areas of the country for forced labor. Ukrainian officials say eight humanitarian corridors are open today to evacuate more civilians. However, Ukrainian officials have claimed some people are being taken to Russia against their will, prompting comparisons to the Holocaust. Those people have allegedly been moved to remote areas of the country for forced labor. Ukrainian officials say eight humanitarian corridors are open today to evacuate more civilians. And local officials here in Poland contend the more Russian forces step up their bombings in Ukraine and the more that they expand their targets, the more people they will see flee Ukraine and end up in places like this. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.